They're lying to you. Jesus is only coming back for his people. That's who he died for. That's who he rose again for. And that's who he's coming back for. All the 12 tribes of Israel that believe the gospel of the kingdom. Our name have been written in the book of life. So the Lord promised this, this, this land, the promised land, to Abraham, to Abram, and his seed forever. And that hasn't changed. God has a chosen people, and that hasn't changed. Jesus said he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. People get to the New Testament. It's about the Gentiles now. It's about the Christians. That's because you're ignorant and don't understand the scriptures. When they talk about Jews and Gentiles, they're talking about the two kingdoms of Israel. Two kingdoms. Jews, the southern kingdom with Judah and Benjamin, and the northern kingdom with ten tribes called Israel. But when they sinned, they were no longer referred to as Israel. They were referred to wherever location where they were living. Romans, Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, Greeks, Jew, Gentiles. Those are the ten tribes of the northern kingdom. That's, they're referring to the two kingdoms. But people take the scriptures out of context and think it's about everybody. Now, it's not about everybody. It's about God's chosen people. He said, to thee and thy seed forever. It's not about everybody. <laughs> but that's what you want to think. Keep thinking that. All right. Genesis chapter 13, verse 16. And I will make thy seed as the dust of the earth. So that if a man can number the dust of the earth, then shall thy seed also be numbered. 